First floor. Going up. Hey guys, what's happening? We are here in sunny, 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 sunny San Diego with Rob, Rob Hammer. Hammer. Rob Hammer is gonna teach me how to take a photo today. Note the designer, the designer spray right here. <laughs> it's cool looking. Did you pay extra I had for to, that? No, I had to go out and put some mud in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be taking the, the Jeep on a little road trip around sunny USA and Rob's gonna tell me two things I need to put in this Jeep before we do a road trip to make life comfortable. Any ideas? I said too, the first thing you should do is put a hard top on so nobody can put a knife through this thing and rob all your shit. <coughs> okay, <laughs> point taken. <laughs> oh man, yeah, a really good cooler. A cooler, okay. A cooler. Okay. You think there's room for a cooler in there? Yeah. Get one of those smaller Yetis, put it back there. Okay. <laughs> not that I'm not promoting Yeti, but they're a fantastic product. Keep your, it'll keep the ice. Rob did a name drop. <laughs> That's a great product. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna get a little product and put it in the uh, back right there. Do you see that? How did we get here so quick? How'd you do that, Rob? Magic. Magic. I like magic. So when you yeah. when you take what's your kind of approach? Um, depends. You know, I mean, depends on the on what's going on around it. You know, a lot of the times you want to. I think it's cool to show the environment to show what the difference would be. You know, so people can understand that you're either maybe in a small town or maybe you're in a city, or you know, it can be cool to show just the kind of living that goes on in this place so you kind of understand what what the shop is like and look how faded the the color is on the pole yeah. this thing's been around forever it probably doesn't spin anymore and all the the reds faded out of the pole which is pretty sweet you know it's all dirty up here this is all cracked just kind of shows the years which okay I think is pretty so why don't you take a picture and then we'll see we'll see what you we'll see what you see trying to see what's around I think I always think that one uh, one thing that's really important to pay attention to is not just what's in the frame but what's not in the frame you know you want to take out all that extra <coughs> that doesn't need to be there that makes it either too cluttered or too busy or makes it so your your eyes can't really relax and for instance I don't necessarily want that dumpster right there there's an, another cool aspect I think too is that I try to think about these images as uh, a place in time and one thing that'll show that is the vehicles yeah yeah you know so when somebody hopefully if some people are looking at these 30 40 years from now you know right now these cars seem totally normal because we see them every day but so I mean when I'm taking a picture I try to exclude these. Are you saying I should include them? Or Not always. Some, I don't think do, they do some mix and match in there. Take it, take it both ways. You know, they don't. The cars aren't always going to add to the picture. Sometimes they'll be a total distraction. But like I said, like you don't think that they're cool right now because you see it every day. Yeah. But think about 40 or 50 years from now, how well that these cars will help tell a story because of their made in a time, that time is right now. So about how much time have you typically spent at each location before you find something? Uh. I mean, sometimes you show up and you get it on the first frame. Other times you're there for 45 minutes, an hour, and it takes that whole time till you're happy with something that you get, you know? Like, I don't, I don't love anything. I don't love this scenario right now. I think it's a really cool, out, I think the outside is cool, but I think that it's completely the wrong time lighting-wise to photograph this here, you know? So 
if, if this was the only time that I had to be here, I'd probably I'd go focus on the interior. So when you're trying to frame it, what are you looking for here? Well, I mean, as you know, the mirrors are tough. Sometimes if you use, if you're looking into the mirrors, you see way too much, you know? So if I was up here, you'd be getting infinite reflections. You'd be getting the bikes, getting these things, which I wouldn't necessarily want. Maybe, maybe Darth Vader would be cool, but try to show the things that are unique to a shop, you know, like that, mm -hmm. that stuff there. The decorative stuff on yeah. the, on yeah, the, like on the door there. Stuff. I always think it's good to pay attention to the color palette too, because each uh, each shop has its own color palette. You know, like the uh, what's you, you know when the the siding is not siding, but the uh, the panels, the wood panels. panels. The wood panels. How old is that? How long is that oh, been? that's pro that's been here fifty. I would say fifty years. Yeah. 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 I mean uh -huh. stuff like that. You know, you can't replicate it. You know, I'll be I'll be seventy years old here, not too long, so. I'm not I'm not savoring that. What are you uh, famous for now? Well, uh, <laughs> you did a, 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 a book on barbershops all over America. Oh, oh. And my yeah, dad I don't know. Sometimes it's, you know you want to be you want to be just a piece of the background. You want to just I know, yeah, be a piece really of the furniture and just let everything kind of happen. Yeah. Sometimes some of the customers have such a rapport with the barber. They've known each other for. 30, 40, 50 years that their back and forth is just, it's so natural, so natural. So you just kind of let that go and let the, let the momentum build you and let their conversation. away with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I try to do most of the time is just let it, let it happen. You want to try and get one? Yeah. Go for it. Wayne, you mind having your picture taken? No. Why? No, you don't mind? <laughs> no, or no, no, don't no you it. don't mind or no? <laughs> no, you don't mind. He doesn't mind. Okay, go on then. I studied them, but they're kind of fancy. Do you, you love the, like, the little conversation that suddenly... Oh, this isn't the, that classic? Where, where you, 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 <laughs> we're trying to film and she picks up the phone. And... The side combos are they're brilliant. They're so good. I and mean, that's that's the, the kind of stuff that you got to love about barbershops is just being a fly on the wall in there and hearing all the other stuff that's going on. I love that. Cool. So tell, tell us again, what lens do you recommend for using for taking portraits in a barbershop? Um, What's your favorite? The, I'd probably, if I could only use one ever, and this is this would be it, 24. 24. And that's a 24? 24, 1.4. 1.4, okay. And then... Do you I mean, ever use a zoom lens? Have you never. Ever, never used it? Never. Oh, I, I mean, I have in the I mean, past, for this but kind of thing? No. Yeah. All prime. Just, just okay. So that's where I'm going. Zoom, okay. Zooms are for lazy people. Okay, Rob just called me lazy. And just saying, move your ass. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there's a zoom, no, that's, yeah, there's a zoom lens on here right now. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, so I'm lazy. I need to get a 24 <laughs> mil lens um, to start shooting with, yeah? To, yep. to, no zoom in, move to, your body. Okay. <laughs> and uh, upgrade my photography there. What's the other little tip? To focus on what is making that shop unique. You know, like I said, the, the stuff in the corner there that, you know, the, the slats, the slats or the wood yeah. paneling or whatever it is, whatever that unique thing is about that barbershop, show that, you know, because you're not going to see that, that little corner there, you're not going to see that in another barbershop in, in 10, 15 years, this place is going to be gone. So focus, try to focus on the, on the little things. Um, you know, maybe start wide and move in. So that was three tips, yeah. 24 sure. mil, focus on the uniqueness and start wide and zoom in. Start wide and don't zoom in, move in. Move in, yeah. move in. Okay, so we're gonna put this to the test right now. I will put my camera on 24 mil, pretend like it's a fixed lens, and then I will go in there for one minute, okay? All right. And see what we get, All okay? Right. I'm gonna put the camera down okay so the camera on the tripod is going to peer through the window while i do this no zooming, no zooming. rob says i have to get the bars actually 
that doesn't look right. I think Rob yeah. found the uh, Rob Rob found the uh, telephone down here. Very interesting. So we're going to do the same. God, it's tough not using the zoom because I can't lean over. Can I get a photo with you? Huh? Can I get a photo with you? Why? Why? Because you're good. <laughs> oh. I like it. It's, so, it's, it's so funny when you're picking up the phone. There we go. You have to look at this one. There we go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, that is so hilarious. <laughs> I didn't have it on record. <laughs> huh? How do you measure 60 seconds? I forget, I lose count. It's, it's kind of, and um, you know what? Was it 24 mil? Don't use the sand. Yeah, move in, move out. What did you forget? Yeah? <laughs> Why? What did I forget? <laughs> Hit the record button. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how I go. Oh man, I didn't so, think I had to tell you that part. <laughs> cool. So, Rob, thank you for your tips. Sorry I didn't tell you to hit the record button. Apparently that would have helped quite a bit. <laughs> we've, all, we've all got to start somewhere and uh, hopefully we'll see a great improvement. But before we sign off here, why don't you give you your, your website and uh, pluck your little book there. Uh, the book is Barbershops of America. You can find it on my website or on Amazon. Uh, my website is just robhammerphotography.com and my Instagram is robhammerphoto. Or the book also has uh, Instagram, Barbershops of America. Where you will find a lot of really good professional photographs <laughs> uh, that are well worth seeing. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, man, thanks for having me. Thank you.